Hey guys, in today's video, I wanna explain the difference between an overgrip and a replacement grip. To some of you guys, this might be obvious, but a lot of you guys will get this wrong. So let's start off with a replacement grip. So any racket that you will buy will have an original grip, okay? There is nothing underneath this grip. If you pull this grip up, usually a good way to tell is if you see the plastic part underneath what exact material that is i don't know i think it might be plastic it used to be wood back in the day but regardless doesn't matter if you pull this grip up and you see nothing underneath it no other grip this means that it's your original grip so on this particular racket uh, this original grip is pretty bad okay and needs to be replaced usually it wears off on the bottom okay and this is why you sometimes do need to replace the original grip so once we take this off we're going to remove this original grip and you'll see that there'll sometimes be some kind of plastic left over. We're going to remove all that. Okay, so everything has been removed and now we can see that there's nothing underneath here but the butt cap. And now we have to apply a replacement grip. So make sure that you're buying a replacement grip. There are some players who will put an over grip on top of this and now the racket will be too edgy in other words you can get a blister because the edges will be too sharp because this is very sharp here and an overgrip by itself on top of this will cause blisters on your hands so it's absolutely necessary that you put a replacement grip on top of this so when you buy this make sure that in a pro shop you ask for a replacement grip or when you go online to purchase this it must say replacement grip and not over grips. Now one thing about replacement grips is that they're a lot thicker than over grips and they are also a little bit more difficult to apply. But in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to do it. So usually the replacement grip is gonna be adhesive on the bottom of it. And now we're gonna apply it just like a regular over grip. We're gonna start on the bottom. We gotta make sure that we make no mistakes. And we're gonna go along the edges. If you wanna know in great detail uh, my technique of putting an over grip, check out my video titled how to replace your overgrip. This is gonna be the same whether you're replacing, replacing a replacement grip or an overgrip, you can apply the same technique. Now I will say that it is a lot more challenging to apply a replacement grip because the thing is a little bit more rigid, it is thicker and it does take some getting used to. So it wouldn't be a bad idea to ask your pro to do it for you or to ask the person in the pro shop to apply your replacement grip. So guys, a lot of times the replacement grip is gonna to be too long and it's gonna to be too much slack left over. So you can do is uh, draw a line with a pen that goes along the bottom piece of the grip. So simply apply this piece right here and then just draw a line right here that matches this bottom line. Now that I have a pen with me, I'm just gonna do it like this and I think it should be pretty accurate. So I'm gonna cut this piece right here. Okay, we're gonna put this away. Okay, and that fits pretty good. now. I recommend that when you're putting a replacement grip on that you don't use the adhesive tape that comes with it because what happens a lot of times is that when you put an overgrip on top of the replacement grip and you play for the, with it for a time, those type of adhesive tapes that the replacement grips come with are not good quality. So what I use actually is regular athletic tape. On top here this is a little bit better quality and it won't come apart every single time you take the overgrip off so with the other adhesive every time you take the overgrip off which is going to be super frequently the adhesive tape starts coming off so with athletic tape it is a little bit more stable and it's going to give you less headaches down the road all right guys so that is your replacement grip and now an over grip which is what you can buy pretty much anywhere you can get it even a Walmart or Target, any pro shop will have overgrips. You can buy them anywhere online. Will come on top of the replacement grip. This is what you need to understand. Now, here's an important question. Can you play with just a replacement grip? Yes, you can. But just mind you that uh, if you're a really sweaty uh, player and your hand sweats a lot, that the replacement grip usually doesn't absorb sweat as well as an overgrip. So while it is possible to play with just a replacement grip some players prefer this i highly advise against it if you have sweaty hands because your grip is going to start to slip so now we're going to put this over grip on top of the replacement grip using the same method as before and guys one important tip that i want to give you is that when you replace your original grip and then you put a replacement grip on top of your racket and then an over grip on top is that it's going to feel a lot bigger it's going to feel like as if your grip size went up 
by one and here's the reason why your original grip on the racket has most likely deteriorated depending on how long you've been using the racket so now you've replaced that grip you put a new replacement grip on top and all of a sudden it feels a lot bigger and you're uncomfortable but don't worry there's a solution to that there is such a thing as a thin replacement grip there is such a thing on sale all you got to do is type in thin tennis replacement grip and you will find something that's going to take care of this problem i will also say that if you're willing to suffer a little bit and play for a couple months usually the replacement grip will deteriorate as well and it's going to start getting a little bit smaller and it'll probably start feeling a lot more similar to the original way you had your racket so there it is guys an important distinction between the replacement grip and an over grip that you need to know if you want to play tennis to the best of your abilities but something that's also important is throwing your trash away on a tennis court i see a lot of people that throw their grip on the ground it's really disgusting and especially in the times of covid but also all these little adhesive plastic tapes that the grips come with people just toss them in the air and it flies all over the court it's not nice guys so when you are replacing your grip please toss all that stuff in the trash